Roman Judea. There is only one piece of hard evidence that gives us a clue to what really happened when Jesus met Pontius Pilate. And it was found here at Caesarea, the Roman capital of Judea. Particularly in older entries, Assassin's Creed was never shy about tackling Christianity. You spent the better part of two games trying to assassinate the Pope, after all. That's why it wouldn't be entirely surprising to see Ubisoft take the franchise back to Judea in the first century AD when Jesus was still alive. Asked to crucify Jesus, he replies, Why? What evil has he done? His wife had a dream. Have nothing to do with that righteous, innocent man. Already, we've heard about Jesus in some lore. Specifically, that the miracles he performed were due to the lost pieces of Easter technology, so it would be interesting to see those things happen in person. It's not likely you'd get to play as the man himself, but one of his disciples could make for a good protagonist. As well as that, people have been clamoring for another visit to both the Holy Land and the Roman Empire. You too, my child. The first civilization. Make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. The Isu are the driving force behind the entire franchise, but they're still pretty elusive and mysterious. The reason why is obviously so that Ubisoft doesn't have to worry too much about plot holes and can continually invent new Isu lore and technology as a game needs it. But wouldn't it be cool to actually see the first civilization and the Isu firsthand in their heyday? Back in Assassin's Creed 2, we already glimpsed it when we saw Adam and Eve escape and start the war against the Isu, which the humans ultimately won, but playing through this would be a breath of fresh air for the series. Ubisoft would just have facts straight about the Isu, otherwise it would be a narrative minefield. Warring States China Sixteenth-century China was the subject of the first AC Chronicles game, where Chinese assassin Xiao Jun works to avenge the death of the Chinese Brotherhood. This means that before the game takes place, China was home to a powerful branch of the assassins, and that would be great to see in more detail. That is how we wiped out your kind. So trusting of others, so weak and pathetic. The same qualities your master showed just before I killed him. The Warring States period was a complex part of Chinese history that happened over 2,000 years ago. But you'd be able to see the establishment of the Qin Dynasty and see the finishing touches put on the famous Great Wall of China in this setting. Who wouldn't want to platform across a monument like that? Your Templar world will not happen. The Assassins will rise again. Second World War AC Unity had a few choice moments where Arno witnessed other parts of French history after jumping into a helix rift, specifically Belle Epoque France and the turn of the 20th century, and Paris under occupation from German soldiers. Another visit to the Second World War, this time in a full game, would be incredible, especially since we've hardly seen anything from this century. Taking after earlier games in the series, a game set across multiple large cities rather than an entire country would work best. We could return to occupied France while also performing covert spying missions and potentially sabotage in other territories occupied by the Third Reich. You could potentially even infiltrate the Führer bunker to assassinate Hitler himself. Civil War America Ensure a proper line of sight, and above all else, men, do not fire until you see the white of their eyes. Though the American Civil War is only a few decades after the American Revolution, itself the subject of a huge AC game, it would offer up completely new settings in the Deep South to explore. It's easy to imagine the assassins getting involved in the Underground Railroad. After all, they're all about free will and self-determination, so they wouldn't be able to stand by and let slavery continue. Fly the flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral. 
while running into important politicians and generals like Lincoln himself to Ulysses S. Grant and Robert E. Lee would absolutely happen, so too could this similar story about freeing and aiding escaped slaves. And it would answer another big question, was John Wilkes Booth actually a Templar? <laughs> 20th Century India Herat, is there really another temple around here? The Afghans have not taken too kindly to the British occupying the citadel. For centuries, India was occupied and controlled by the British, first through the East India Trading Company, and then ultimately through the British Raj and the British government itself. It wasn't until the late 19th and early 20th century that a large resistance movement saw success in ousting the British from India, led largely by Mahatma Gandhi. What you cannot do is accept injustice from Hitler or anyone. You must make the injustice visible. Be prepared to die like a soldier to do so. AC Chronicles had a game set in India in the 1840s, but it would be great to see the progression of the Indian assassins from the Victorian era through to India's independence in 1947. As well as that, India is a stunningly beautiful country that we'd absolutely love to see in a game of this scale. Stand down, man. He has earned the right to live. If I see you again, Burns, you won't. There is nothing left to see. The Russian Revolution. Just the local militia. Townsfolk under the command of a commissar. Still, keep your senses sharp, Nikolai. If this box is what we think it is, the Templars are no doubt looking for it too. Assassin's Creed Chronicles already took us on a short sojourn to the Russian Revolution, but it would be a great setting for a full release, giving the player large areas of Western Russia to explore. Much like Arno in the French Revolution, our main assassin would be a relatively minor player in the revolution itself, working behind the scenes and potentially getting involved with a few key moments. Hold the crowd back! I don't want the house ransacked before we find the box! Templars. But a long game could show us the turmoil before and during the First World War, leading to the October Revolution itself, going as far into the future as the death of Lenin in 1924. We've already seen multiple revolutions in this franchise, so the Russian Revolution, given the full attention it deserves, wouldn't be out of place. This will be my last mission. I have to think of Anna and Nadia. Mesoamerica. Over the next thousand years, the Maya civilization became the most advanced in the Americas. A full game set in Central and South America would be a great move for the franchise, especially during the 15th and 16th centuries. Another game led by an indigenous assassin, much like AC3, would definitely be interesting. It would also give us a chance to see many of South America's great civilizations like the Inca, the Aztecs, and the Maya while their vast cities were still inhabited. As part of this wave, one refugee king sets down roots in Kiwi, founds the town, and soon after, builds a pyramid. The villains, of course, would be Christopher Columbus and the invading conquistadors, who would certainly be a part of the Templar Order. Resistance movements against invaders have long been a standard in the franchise, whether that's battling in the Crusades, kicking the British out of the Caribbean, or even killing Caesar. So this setting is perfect. She will never fall to you or your kind. Freedom is not given, Caesar. The Old West. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! Ah! Really do not like you. Big open world Western games are few and far between, and it's long enough since Red Dead Redemption 2 that Ubisoft wouldn't be directly competing with it if they opted to make a Western of their own. Set in the late 19th century, the lawless frontier would be an ideal place for the assassins to set up a group. Perhaps even a gang of assassin outlaws hunting for a piece of Eden, much like a prospector digging for gold. And of course, the Templars would represent the lawmakers on the East Coast sweeping into the frontier to make order from the chaos and steal a piece of Eden for themselves. The only downside is that there'd be very little to climb on. This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Feudal Japan. Samurai da! Samurai da iru
Just like the Wild West, Assassin's Creed will have stiff competition if it ever heads to feudal Japan after Ghost of Tsushima released in 2020. But that doesn't mean Ubisoft shouldn't try it. Feudal Japan is still a great option for Assassin's Creed, particularly if it follows the trends of recent entries and gives players the entirety of Japan to explore. Assassins are already deadly, highly trained platforming specialists, so the Brotherhood would fit right in. The only question is precisely which period we'd be in. Would it be in the early glory days of the samurai in the 13th century, or the hostile and violent Sengoku period of the 16th? To avoid too many comparisons with Tsushima, they probably ought to head to the latter. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from. 